Okay, what is uh, meant by ideal gas adalah It is a perfect gas which obeys the three gas law So, dia akan obey tiga gas law Which uh, indicates dia adalah perfect gas dekat sini Apa tiga law yang kita tengah cakap adalah Boyle's law, the first one, Boyle's Second one adalah Charles law And the last one adalah Gay-Lussac law dekat sini So, kita ada tiga law So, if you obey all these three It is a perfect gas lah kan And then dengan me, uh, by combining all these three laws, kita will come up with an equation yang dikenali sebagai ideal gas equation which is PV is equals to NRT. Where P here is the pressure in the unit of Pascal, kena juga unit Pascal. So kalau diberi selain daripada Pascal, kena convert unit lah. And then V must be in the unit, V is the volume, sorry, V is the volume, must be in the unit of meter cube, M kuasa 3. N here, small n here is the number of mole of gas. Number of mole. R is the molar gas constant. is a type of constant which has a value of 8.31 joule per kelvin per mole. Dan kita ada lastly T temperature and it must be in the unit of kelvin. Wajib kena kelvin. So this ideal gas equation which is PV is equals to NRT can also be written In terms of number of molecules So kita tak guna number of mole Kita nak guna number of molecule Kita nak guna N dekat sini Di mana kita akan guna uh, Relationship here where K K is another type of constant Which is the Boltzmann constant Is equals to Our molar gas constant Divided by the number of Sorry Avogadro constant So ini adalah K dekat sini So apa yang kita akan buat adalah We also know that PV is equals to NRT where the number of mole here, number of mole kalau didarab dengan Avogadro constant, you are going to get number of molecule. So, kita nak wujudkan number of molecule dalam equation kita. So, apa yang akan jadi, we are going to substitute. So, number of molecule divided by Avogadro constant is your number of mole tadi tu. Darab R over, uh, uh, multiply with T. R over NA tadi tu adalah a new constant which is the Boltzmann constant. So, now your PV is equals to N besar KT. So, your ideal gas law can also be written as PV is equals to capital N KT. Di mana capital N here is the number of molecule. Dan juga K here is a Boltzmann constant with a uh, with a value of 1.38 times 10 to the power negative 23 joule per kelvin. 1.38 darab 10 kuasa negative 23 joule per kelvin. So, this is another type of constant. So, kita boleh pilih lah. Kita nak guna PV is equals to NKT ataupun PV is equals to NRT mengikut kesesuaian soalan lah. Tengok apa yang diberi number of molecule ke atau number of mole. And then you choose the right equation. Alright. Most of our problem involve in changing in pressure, temperature and volume of a fixed amount of gas at the same time. Therefore, kita punya ideal gas equation ini kita boleh tulis dia punya PV is equals to NRT. Okay, apa yang akan jadi adalah dia akan ada dua situasi. Contohnya, P dengan V constant and then T berubah. So, dia akan cari in the next case apa yang akan jadi kepada T. Ataupun, initially you have pressure sebanyak contoh 1 pascal, volume sebanyak 1 meter cube, temperature sebanyak... 273 Kelvin contoh This is the initial state And then everything changes The pressure changes Volume changes And then what happens to the temperature It is also going to change So kita nak carilah nilai-nilai Inilah selalunya So kita akan guna equation PV is equals to NRT Where P over V Sorry PV bahagi dengan T Akan sama dengan NR Di mana N ini akan adalah constant Kenapa? Because we are talking about For a type of gas Di mana number of mole dia tetap sama Tidak berubah Unless you are going to change the Amount here. So, the amount here is fixed. Amount here is a fixed. And then R memang constant lah pun. So, we can also write this equation. P1 V1 over T1 is equals to P2 V2 over T2. Ini adalah kes bila kita ada dua state lah. State 1 dan juga state 2 where your pressure changes, your temperature changes and your volume changes and so on. Okay, next we are going to look at standard temperature and pressure which is known as STP. Standard condition for temperature and pressure of gas. Salah dalam soalan dia kata bla 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 gas has STP. Maksudnya kita tahu nilai temperature dan nilai pressure dia adalah fixed dekat sini, constant. Iaitu temperature must be 0 degree Celsius which is 273 Kelvin sebab kita guna unit Kelvin. Dan juga pressure dia kena jadi 
1 atm ataupun 1 times 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 pascal. So ini adalah nilai yang standard itu. Alright, what is going to happen adalah when your temperature and pressure of gas is at standard condition, by using the ideal gas law, the volume of 1 mole of gas at STP can be determined. So kita nak cari apa volume kita at STP. So menggunakan PV is equals to NRT. For 1 mole of gas, so kita tengah cakap pasal 1 mole of gas. 1 mole maksudnya N kita sama dengan 1 lah. 1 mole. So P kita is a constant 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 pascal. Multiply with VV yang kita nak tahu, kita nak cari apa volume at standard temperature and pressure. N kita 1 mole, R adalah constant 8.31. Temperature kita adalah 270 Kelvin. So you press your calculator, you will end up with the e value of 22.4 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter cube. Alright, 22.4 darab 10 kuasa negative 3 meter cube ini is also known as 22.4 times 10 to the power, sorry, 22.4 decimeter cube. Deci ni adalah 10 kuasa negative 1. Tapi sebab kita meter cube, cube dia jadi 10 kuasa negatif 3 dekat sini lah. Alright. So, ini adalah volume at standard temperature pressure. This is the volume for 1 mole of gas at standard temperature pressure. Okay, so next we're going to look at example 1 here. Example 1, an ideal gas at 20 degree Celsius. So, ini adalah temperature kita and pressure of 1.5 times 10 to the power 5 pascal, this is our pressure, is in a container having a volume of 1 liter. Ini adalah volume kita. So, kalau perasan, temperature is in degree Celsius which is not Kelvin. So, kita kena convert temperature daripada 20 degree Celsius campur dengan 273 Kelvin untuk dapatkan nilai dia dalam Kelvin. So, dia akan jadi 293 Kelvin. And then the pressure is in uh, unit pascal. Okay, betul. Tak payah risau. Tak payah tukar dah. Unit dia memang unit yang kita nak. Volume kita dekat sini adalah 1 liter. Okay, 1 liter tak boleh guna liter. Kena convert pergi meter cube. To convert to meter cube adalah 1 liter is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter cube. So, dia akan jadi 1 darab 10 kuasa negative 3 meter cube. Alright, so we are converting liter to meter cube. Ini adalah unit conversion lah. You should know by now. So, determine the number of mole of gas in the container. So, kita nak N dekat sini. So, kita ada T, kita ada P, kita ada V. Kita nak cari N. So, menggunakan ideal gas equation. PV is equals to NRT. Apa yang kita nak adalah N. P ada, V ada, T ada dan R adalah constant. So, I'm going to rearrange this equation. PV divided by RT gives my number of Mole. My P dekat sini adalah 1.5 10 kuasa 5 Volume saya adalah 1 darab 10 kuasa negatif 3 meter cube Bahagi dengan R adalah constant 8.31 Temperature adalah 293 So when I press calculator I will end up with 6.16 times 10 to the power negative 2 Mole So ini adalah how much mole exists in the container. So the next part of the question B dekat sini dia kata the gas pushes against a piston expanding to twice its original volume. So volume kita sekarang bertambah. Initially V1 kita adalah 1 darab 10 kuasa negatif 3 meter cube. So now in the next state ataupun next case kita dekat sini adalah your volume changes by twice of its original volume. Dua kali daripada V1. While the pressure falls to atmospheric pressure, so pressure kita pula berkurang. So pressure kedua kita kurang pergi. Kurang daripada yang tadi. So dia sekarang nilai dia sama dengan atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure adalah 1.013 darab 10 kuasa 5 pascal which is 1 atm sebenarnya. Atmospheric pressure dekat sini adalah 1 atm. So 1 atm is equivalent to 1 0.013 times 10 to the power 5 pascal. So, ini adalah pressure kedua. Dia suruh cari apa temperature final kita dekat sini. So, menggunakan pemahaman yang ini tadi kita rearrange. P1, V1 over 
T1 is equals to P2 V2 over T2 sebab N dan R kita adalah constant. So kita nak cari apa nilai temperature kedua kita. P2 V2 over T2 is equals to P1 V1 over T1 sebab PV is equals to NRT. This one changes, changes, this one changes. Ini adalah constant. And R ni constant. So NR is equals to constant which is actually equals to PV over T tu. So P2 saya adalah 2 darab dengan 1, 10 negatif 3. V2 saya, sorry that is my volume actually. My P2 is atmospheric pressure, 10 kuasa 5. My volume is 2 darab this one, which is 10 to the power negative 3. Divided by T2, ini yang kita nak cari. P1 saya, P asal saya, adalah 1.5 times 10 to the power 5 volume 1 saya adalah 1 liter 10 negatif 3 divided with my initial temperature 293 and then I do my max tekan-tekan calculator I will end up with 395.78 Kelvin ok sekarang kita nak uh, continue we are going to look at the ideal gas law So kita tadi, Miss ada explain tadi Kita ada tiga jenis ideal gas Iaitu Boyle's Law, Charles Law dan juga Gay-Lussac Law So now we are going to look into these three types of law ini So the first one adalah Boyle's Law Okay, apa maksud Boyle's Law? Apa syarat-syarat untuk Boyle's Law adalah The pressure of a fixed mass of an ideal gas at a constant temperature Is inversely proportional to its volume Maksudnya untuk Boyle's Law, temperature dia adalah constant The temperature is constant And when the temperature is constant, the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. Itu yang dia cakap, pressure at constant temperature is inversely proportional to its volume, which is this one lah. So, syarat dia adalah untuk Boyle's Law, temperature constant and P is inversely proportional to V. Menggunakan equation PV is equals to NRT, the ideal gas law. This whole thing sekarang menjadi constant as temperature dah memang constant syarat untuk Boyle's. N dengan R memang sasar constant because we are talking about a fixed mass. So, number of mole dia akan constant. R dekat sini is already a constant. So, kita boleh cakap PV is equals to constant. So, bila kita ada situasi pertama, P1, V1 is equals to NRT di mana NRT tidak berubah is equals to constant. Dan juga pada situasi kedua, second uh, condition, uh, state, Bila pressure dan volume dia berubah, P2, V2 is equals to NRT which is also equals to constant. Maka apa yang kita boleh buat adalah sebab P1, V1 is equals to constant, P2, V2 pun equals to constant dan constant mereka adalah sama. Kita boleh equate P1, V1 is equals to P2, V2. So ini adalah syarat untuk your uh, Boyle's Law ini. So for your Boyle's Law, for your Boyle's Law dekat sini, temperature is constant, pressure is inversely proportional to the volume and The equation to find any of the unknown dekat sini adalah P1, V1 is equals to P2, V2. Kita boleh terus guna ini, tak perlu pun guna ideal gas law because we have already derived according to the Boyle's law condition. And for Boyle's law, graph yang kita boleh uh, lukis dekat sini adalah P versus V as these two is the ones who is going to change at temperature constant. So P versus T di mana as your volume increases, your volume increases, your pressure is going to Decrease The pressure is going to decrease Because they are inversely proportional to each other So next kita nak tengok pada Charles Law Charles Law pula cakap The volume of a fixed mass of an ideal gas At a constant pressure So kali ini pressure kita constant Is directly proportional to its temperature So dia kata volume at constant pressure Is directly proportional to the temperature So the volume is directly proportional to the temperature At constant pressure So untuk Charles Law syaratnya adalah Pressure constant dan V is directly proportional to the T. Menggunakan PV is equal to NRT juga, kita akan dapat relationship for Charles Law such as V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. So, you can straight away use this understanding to find any of the unknown. So, contoh dekat sini adalah, contoh, eh, contoh soalan adalah, dia akan cakap, the pressure is one atmospheric pressure, the volume is one liter and the temperature is 293 Kelvin. Okay? Contoh, lepas tu dia cakap, the volume now changes to uh, 3 liter. Contoh dia berubah daripada 1, dia pergi 3 sekarang. And then, 
find the temperature at constant pressure. So, dia cakap pressure tak berubah. V dah berubah, dia suruh cari apa perubahan pada temperature. So, bila pressure tak berubah, kita tahu dia tengah undergo Charles Law dekat sini. So, from here, from this thing, kita boleh terus guna persamaan V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 to find our T2. Okay. And the graph for Charles Law adalah V versus T. V meter cube T is in Kelvin. They are directly proportional to each other. V directly proportional to each other. As your volume increase, uh, sorry, as your temperature increase, your volume going to increase. So, temperature increase, volume kita pun akan increase. This is because your pressure is kept constant. Right? Next, kita nak tengok pada Gay-Lussac Law. So, untuk Gay-Lussac Law pula, it is stated that the pressure of a fixed mass of an ideal gas at constant volume, so kali ni volume pula constant, is directly proportional to the temperature. Directly proportional to its temperature. Siapa yang directly proportional to temperature? Pressure is directly proportional to the temperature at constant volume. So, menggunakan kaedah yang sama, PV is equal to NRT. So, kali ni volume constant and R pun constant. So, kita boleh buat relationship that P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Alright. So, the graph for k Luzek law adalah P versus T where P is directly proportional to the temperature. So, as your temperature increase, your pressure is going to increase at constant volume. So, this is the shape of your graph dekat sini. Alright, so remember kita ada tiga jenis law iaitu Boyle's law, Charles law dan juga Gay-Lussac law dekat sini. So, untuk Boyle's law, apa yang constant adalah temperature constant. Untuk Boyle's law, temperature constant. Untuk Charles law, pressure constant. Dan juga untuk Gay-Lussac law, the volume is constant. So, selalunya... Bila kita ada dua situasi gini, salah satu benda akan constant. Bila salah satu benda akan constant, the other two term is going to react ataupun is going to respond in relative to another term dekat sini. Sebab kita ada tiga term iaitu pressure, gas, uh, sorry, pressure, volume dan juga temperature dekat sini. So, for the Boyce law pula, bila temperature is constant, the P is inversely proportional to the volume. So, kita guna persamaan P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So, ini bentuk graf dia. P versus V inversely proportional. Alright. Ini adalah macam summary lah terus miss part dekat sini. Charles Law pula P is kept constant. So, when P is kept constant, tinggal dua term sahaja iaitu volume dan juga temperature. So, they are going to become directly proportional here according to your uh, 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 ideal gas equation. So, kita akan dapat V1 over T1 is equals to V2 over T2. So, the graph here is graph of V versus temperature Kelvin meter cube directly proportional. So, as your V increase, your T is going to increase. And then lastly, kita ada Gay-Lussac. For Gay-Lussac, the volume is kept constant. So, volume constant, maka tinggal lagi dua term iaitu pressure dan juga temperature. So, pressure is directly proportional to the temperature. So, kita akan ada equation P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. And then the graph here adalah graph of pressure to the temperature. So, pressure to the temperature and they are directly proportional. As P increase, the T is also increasing. Okay.